hello guys now we shall look at the abdomen as well as the abdominal cavity okay so our topic of discussion would be about the abdominal cavity right let us uh, draw a picture of uh, the abdominal cavity and see what are the boundaries of the abdominal cavity later on let us draw a picture of uh, the pelvic cavity and see what are the boundaries of the pelvic cavity okay so in the abdominal cavity if you see right so exactly here you see a bone like this right so you know both the sides you have got the pelvic bone like this so here we have got the pelvic bone like this okay these are the pelvic bones right now next important thing is that here you know you have got your sternum all the way like this right and after the sternum you know you even have got diaphragm like this right hemi diaphragm and left hemi diaphragm and as usually you have got your ribs all the way down like this these are your ribs right now here exactly if you look you can see two types of cavities guys okay uh, but before i draw these cavities completely you should know one very important thing that if i am drawing a dotted line here right so this is the pelvic inlet what do i mean by pelvic inlet this is the place where this is the place of entry into the pelvic cavity this is called as a pelvic inlet now just beneath the pelvic inlet here we have got a diaphragm like this this diaphragm is called as pelvic diaphragm okay this is called as pelvic diaphragm so the cavity which is located here all the way okay so from here this cavity whatever you can see which i am shading now this cavity is called as a abdominal cavity okay so in this abdominal cavity let us see let us put put the picture aside and let us move the picture aside and let us see what are the borders of abdominal cavity first of all you can look at the superior border you can look at the inferior border right you can look at an anterior border over here anterior obviously you can't see you can also not see the posterior border posterior border right now when it comes to the superior border on the top what do you have on the top you have got diaphragm right so abdominal cavity the superior border is having two halves of diaphragm so you have got diaphragm okay next important thing inferiorly what do you have see inferiorly you have this dotted lines this dotted lines represents the pelvic inlet okay this represents the pelvic inlet so inferiorly you have got the pelvic inlet anteriorly right so on the top you have got diaphragm down you have got pelvic inlet anteriorly and posteriorly anteriorly what do you have you have got abdominal muscles right so anteriorly you have got anterior abdominal wall anterior abdominal wall along with the anterior abdominal muscles right and exactly on the back what do you have you have got vertebra and you have also got posterior uh, abdominal muscles right so on the back you have got the posterior abdominal wall with the lumbar vertebra with the lumbar vertebra right so these are the things which you can see and final important thing is that laterally what do you have if you see laterally see superiorly is this one so this this line which i am drawing forms the superior border this line which i am showing is the inferior border anterior posterior obviously you cannot see but laterally is this so laterally can i tell that the lower part of the ribs as well as the abdominal wall see here so these are the lower part of the ribs as well as this is the lower part of the abdominal wall right so laterally i have got two important things one is called as the lower part of the ribs or lower ribs simply as well as anterior abdominal wall anterior abdominal wall so these are the contents which you can see that are located within the abdominal cavity right so these are the contents of abdominal cavity now if you look at the contents of a pelvic cavity what are the contents of pelvic cavity 
right so let me highlight where is the pelvic cavity first of all you see this blue color uh, shading whatever i have done this is your pelvic cavity okay so in this pelvic cavity what are the borders so first important thing is let us see superiorly what do you have next you have got inferior inferiorly what do you have and again anteriorly posteriorly laterally so let us see all of these structures right now okay now when it comes to superiorly so superiorly what do you have see all of you look superiorly here i have, I have this dotted lines these dotted lines represent what pelvic inlet so superiorly i have got pelvic inlet okay inferiorly down see what do i have this red color line inferiorly this is called pelvic diaphragm inferiorly i have got pelvic diaphragm right and next anteriorly what do you have just imagine guys just imagine here between the two hip bones right just behind that just imagine guys this is one hip bone this is one hip bone both the hip bones are joining together to form pubic symphysis over here right just behind this hip bone whatever cavity you can see here right whatever cavity you can see here this is called as a pelvic cavity right in pelvic cavity we talked that my thumb represents the directions okay the top is what is this pelvic inlet and bottom what is this bottom part this bottom part is nothing but pelvic diaphragm okay anteriorly is this whatever you can see this part is anterior and anterior what do you have anterior you have got pubic bone and back what you will have back you will have a sacrum and coccyx yes or no so you will completely understand when you look at the pelvic bone now see exactly in this picture also you can see that this white color portion whatever you can see here right so this entire part is your pelvic inlet in this pelvic inlet on the back what do you have on the front what do you have on the lateral sides what do you have on the back you have got your sacrum and coccyx anteriorly you have got your pubic bones right and laterally you have got your hip bones like this laterally so posteriorly you have got your sacrum like this as well as the coccyx right so these are the structures that are located in the pelvic cavity right so let us write down all those things so anteriorly what do you have anteriorly you have got the pubic bones anteriorly you have got the pubic bones right posteriorly what do you have posteriorly you have got sacrum and coccyx okay and laterally what do you have laterally you have got your hip bones laterally you have got your hip bones so these are the structures that are located where these are the structures that are located in the pelvic cavity these are the structures that are located in the pelvic cavity so these are the structures that are located in the abdominal cavity these are the structures that are located in the pelvic cavity so in the abdominal cavity once again i'm telling just look here on the top you have got the diaphragm just follow this yellow color line which i have uh, drawn here so here superiorly we have got the diaphragm inferiorly we have got the pelvic inlet uske baad anteriorly anterior abdominal wall and muscles there are no vertebra on the anterior side right and posteriorly you have got vertebra what vertebra in the abdominal cavity you have got on the back that is the lumbar vertebra along with that posterior abdominal muscles are also there okay next laterally you have got two parts see lateral in the sense from here till here this is the lateral side so here if i am dividing into two parts the upper part is the lower part of the ribs and the anterior abdominal wall in the lower part okay so this comprises the abdominal cavity and here in the pelvic cavity this small uh, blue color shaded area is the pelvic cavity and here you have got superior inferior anterior posterior and lateral superiorly we have got pelvic inlet inferiorly we have got pelvic diaphragm right so let me make this point clear so this one is your pelvic inlet pelvic inlet okay and this one is your pelvic diaphragm this is your pelvic diaphragm okay so these are the structures which are located over here right these are the structures which are located over here now let us look at another important topic that is regions of abdomen so in the regions of the abdomen which we are going to discuss now you know that this vertebra over here is your l5 vertebra just above that what do you have you have got l4 vertebra okay 
Now after this L4 vertebra, the next vertebra you can expect is L3, right? Now after L3, now this is a very important topography guys, you have to know it. And here you have got L1, okay? So this is L1 vertebra and just below the L1 vertebra, you have got T12 obviously, right? T12, then you have got uh, T11 over here, then you have got T10 over here, right? So this is your T10, this is T11, okay? Now, where do you have this? One? Okay, let me make the border first. Okay, so this is the hip bone region like this. This is the hip bone region. Now, you know you have got xiphoid process, right? So let us say that this one over which whatever I'm drawing here at the level of T10, right? So this is your xiphoid process. And this is your coastal margin. See, all the way here like this, this is your coastal margin. What do you mean by coastal margin? It means you have got ribs like this. On both the sides, you have got ribs. So this is your coastal margin, right? Actually, in the textbooks, it is given Ziffold process lies at the level of uh, T9. But as per the picture, it is at the level of T10. Obviously, from T9 and T10 also, okay? Right. Now, after this, let me draw one very important line just below L1 and above L2. So exactly here. For example, for example, if I'm drawing a line like this, see, I'm drawing a line exactly below L1 and above L2, right? Now, this line here is called as transpyloric plane, okay? What is this? This is called as transpyloric plane. This is called as transpyloric plane. What is the other name for transpyloric plane? Edison's plane. This is also called as Edison's plane. So transpyloric plane are also called as Edison's plane. Now, exactly beneath the L2, exactly below the L2. You see, exactly below the L2, uh, one more important thing can you identify here? You see this blue color line which I have drawn like this, this is called as a coastal margin, right? This is called as a coastal margin on both the sides. Where is the coastal margin ending? The coastal margin is ending at the level of L2, right? And this line I have drawn just below the coastal margin. Anything below I should call it as sub or supra sub. So this line is called as or this plane is called as sub coastal plane. Okay. So this plane over here is called as sub sub coastal plane. So this plane over here is called sub coastal plane. Now after this sub coastal plane, the next important thing you can see is that these, see this picture which I am drawing here, this is your iliac crest. So exactly if you look very clearly over here, here you will have a small tubercle guys. Okay, this is called as the tubercle of iliac crest or iliac tubercle. Okay, for example, if I am drawing a line like this, right, if I am drawing a line between L4 and L5, this L4 and L5 line is touching these two tubercles. You see, here we have got a tubercle, here we have got a tubercle. So these are the tubercles of iliac crest. So touching tubercle of one iliac crest to touching a tubercle of another iliac crest, right? So this line, whatever is there, is called as transtubercular plane, okay? This is called as trans. This is called as transtubercular plane, okay? Or this, these tubercles are called tubercles of iliac crest. Tubercles of iliac crest, okay? So touching the two tubercles of iliac crest, the line which I'm drawing is called transtubercular plane. And these are very, very important, guys. You won't understand now, but later on, for surgery point of view, these basics are very important. And the last important thing here is that, be between L3 and L4, right, exactly this is the point where you have got your umbilicus. So, this is the umbilical region, okay. Between an L3 and L4, this is the umbilicus because this is the umbilical region, okay. So, once again, guys, so whatever I have drawn here, these are called as the planes of your abdomen. One is called Edison's plane or transpyloric plane between L1 and L2. After L2, that is a point where the coastal margin ends here. This is called a subcoastal plane. And touching the two tubercles of iliac crest, you have got trans tubercular plane. Okay.
trans tubercular pain and another question that is asked is what is the highest point of iliac crest all of you look at the diagram and tell this is the highest point of iliac crest and at which vertebra is it uh, looking the highest point of iliac crest is at a level of l4 okay so just write that point here down so highest point of iliac crest is at the level of l4 okay highest point of iliac crest is at the level of l4 